This is Phoenix, son of Pox. Today, we will be showing you how to hack the Nintendo Classic Mini. It has a ton of games, and we're going to be showing you how to get a bunch more. So, the first thing that you're going to need to do is download Hitachi 2. You'll need to go to the website, install the web installer, Clover for SNES, and the RetroArch, of course. This is what's going to open up the ability to play a lot more ROMs than just regular Super Nintendo. You'll also be able to play regular Nintendo, N64. We're going to demonstrate this with the open source D-pad Hero ROM for the NES. Simply open up the Hitachi 2 app, drag and drop your ROMs and the cores that we downloaded into the app. It'll pop up with the module options that you want to install. In our case, we can install the Sega Genesis emulator, the Nintendo 64 emulator, and the more robust Super Nintendo emulator that gives us more compatibility with different ROMs. You can also click on the ROM and pick the icon that you want to represent the ROM from a Google image search. If you load a lot of ROMs on, you want to go to settings and go to the page folders structure and change that so you can open up to display 45 different ROMs on a page or split them up into different folders. I like doing the one where it puts the original games in the root and another folder for all the extra games that you load on there. You're limited on how much storage you have, so you can't put too many games in there, but you can usually fit a couple hundred. Then you'll need to flash the new kernel image and the ROMs and cores to the Super Nintendo. So there's a special way you have to turn on. You have to hold up the reset button and turn the power on and hold it for five seconds. And then it'll be in the mode that we need to synchronize the games. And I've already moved over all the games that we want. So I just hit synchronize on here. And hit install driver. It'll take just a few minutes to synchronize everything over to the Super Nintendo Mini. Then you can go ahead and unplug it from your computer, plug it back into the TV, turn it back on, and all your ROMs should be showing up. This is D-Pad Hero. It's a clone of Guitar Hero. And it's kind of fun. It's a little hard, but it's kind of an interesting little game. I did a horrible job when I was trying to play it. You are able to load more advanced console emulators on here, such as the Nintendo 64 emulator. I love Tetrisphere. I wish they would release it in other consoles. There's never really been anything like it since it came out. And it runs at a pretty decent frame rate. Not all N64 games run great on the Super Nintendo Mini, although if you really want to, you can order controllers or adapters to use analog joysticks, or you can remap in the menus the digital joysticks. See, that wasn't so hard. And if you want to see more videos like these, subscribe to the channel. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. Perfect. HDMI, power, so controllers, power button, reset button, HDMI, is that it?